Welcome everybody. Today we're making my base vanilla ice cream that has one carb in the whole thing. I'm Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you so excited? We're gonna start off with our heavy whipping cream. Now I'm gonna use the rest in this one, but we wanna have two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna do my half. Ooh, right about Oh my gosh, I'm drooling already. This is an amazing ice cream and your family, your kids are going to love it. And then you can feel good about giving them ice cream, knowing that they're getting some good fats and are going to uh, not get all those icky carbs in there and processed sugars. All right, so that was half a cup. So one and a half. Woo, I'm gonna drip. And then, let's see, another cup. Oh yeah. There are 200 grams of fat just in this heavy whipping cream. Yeah. This is where the carb comes in, right here. We want one cup of almond milk. I chose to go unflavored, just because it goes so well in our smoothies or Alright, so put that there. I'll wash it later. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add Swerve. You just get this on Amazon. The good thing about Swerve, and I'm gonna mispronounce this, erythritol, erythritol, whatever. That is a sweetener that does not affect blood sugar, which for her is especially good since she has diabetes. But let's see if I can get in here. But it's good for those on low carb because we want it to not affect our own. And I'm gonna add some, I got this liquid stevia, excellent price on Amazon as well. I'm just gonna, you know, a couple of blurps in there because we want it to equal about another quarter cup. All right, so now I'm gonna add four egg yolks, I oh, can't see that, four egg yolks. Dip that in, get all that goodness in there. Yeah. Where's my lid? All right, let's see here. I'm going to start this. My Vitamix. Oh, arm. Okay. I'm gonna mix that up real good. And we're going to add, I love this, vanilla extract. Make sure you turn it down. It's all the way off. Because if you don't, oh, it's awful. You want about a teaspoon, and of course, I measure so perfectly. It's about like that. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this on nice and gently. And we're going to get to the secret weapons of any ice cream. Okay, this is just vegetable gly glycerin. There you go. This helps with the creamy texture. You want two tablespoons. Very thick. I'm gonna do this one first. So there's one. And you told you. And two. Awesome. Alright, next you're gonna get your vodka. Yes, you want the whipped vodka because it has a wonderful flavor to it. You're also gonna add two tablespoons. it except you have one more secret weapon. This is your xanthan gum. It's going to help texturize it and make it thicker. So you, the uh, this helps with the iciness. And, what was that? We don't want icy ice cream. We want nice and creamy, thick, not icy ice cream. So those are the secret weapons. This is just a powder. You want to sprinkle it in. I'm going to do about a, a teaspoon, something like that. And just lightly put it in. Just like that. It's easy peasy. And you're going to let it mix for a little bit. And that is literally all there is to it. It took me less than five minutes as I'm just 
All right, so now your mixture ice cream is all blended and it's wonderful. Oh, it smells so good. Let's see, smell. Can you smell that? Mm, okay, sorry, I'm dark. I just have a Cuisinart ice cream maker. You can see that, see? Let me move it closer here. And all you're gonna wanna do is pour it in. Oh, look at how wonderful that is. Sorry, I did that. And it is gonna come all the way to the top here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Mm. Oh my God, that tastes so good. All right, let's see if I can take you off here so you can see it. There it is, all, all blenderizing in there.